There once was a boy named Harry, and he hated going to bed. He hated it so much because of a little dab of red. Where was this dab of red, you asked? Well, it was on the ceiling above his pillow, and it was growing quite fast. One day, Harry told his mother, and she said, Harry, darling, go to bed. You read too many stories, and now you're seeing things in your head. He tried to call his father, but he wouldn't pick up the phone. He never did lately, and Harry felt very alone. You see, his mother and father used to love each other a lot. You might say they were head over heels, but then it all went to pot. They were both blonde beauties and made a blonde baby boy. They say blondes love to have fun, but sometimes fun can destroy. One day Harry came home early from school. He was playing hooky, having a bit of fun breaking the rules. He knew his folks wouldn't be home. It was work time. But that day was his day for fun. And, and was that a crime? He was going up the stairs to go play with this and that and the other. And a blonde woman was coming down the stairs. But it wasn't his mother. When he was tucked into bed that night, all giddy from his day of fun, he asked his mother, who was that lady who was here when you were gone? Harry never got an answer that day, but everything turned bad. His mother screamed a lot and his father was very mad. But one day, the house was quiet. Everything was very still. Except Harry's mother, who was scrubbing the house from ceiling to windowsill. She said, Hello, darling. I'm so sorry, but your father is in Cancun. We had to work out some problems, but I'm not sure if he'll be back soon. Harry was not happy his father was gone. His mother was not the same and something felt very wrong. The little dab of red was growing. It wouldn't stop. It spread. One day it even dripped a dab of red onto his head. When Harry's mom went out to the shop, Harry went to spy. He climbed up into the attic and looked around with his little eye. And what did his little eye spy? A small tuft of something under a floorboard nearby. A golden tuft of something. And I'm sure you can guess. When Harry pulled the floorboards up, he was an utter mess. I guess we can say his father wasn't in Cancun. He was very nearby. You could say he was practically in the room. A little dab of red. A broken marital bed. A voice in the darkness behind Harry's head. Harry, darling, why did you snoop when you could have minded your own business instead.